Hey, good morning, guys. Today is at Jeremiah 22, and God is still giving warnings to Jerusalem, to Israel, about following him. Um, you know, verse 5 actually gives a list of uh, the people that that uh, they are, they've been oppressing. It says the widow, it says the orphan, it says the alien, and it says it's shedding innocent blood. Um, you know, and, and you relate that to our times, you know, maybe the alien uh, could be the illegal aliens that are here, or it could be the refugees that are coming. Are we treating them properly and correctly and legally? And shedding innocent blood could easily, you know, put that in today's terms, be abortion and you know, God doesn't change. He never does change. I want to look at verse 5. It says, If you don't listen, I swear this house will become ruin. God wants us to follow him. He wants us to listen to him. He, he's created um, principles from the beginning of the earth. He's created principles that we are to follow. He's created these principles that if we follow them, we will prosper. If, he's fo if we follow them, we will have blessings. He says, but... I, I swear this house will become ruined if you don't. I want to jump down to verse 6, where he, he starts uh, liking Israel to a couple other places. He starts liking Israel to Gilead. Gilead is a rocky, mountainous region. And then he says Lebanon, which is a wooded, mountainous region. And, and as I was reading that, that brought me back to uh, Matthew 13, which is the parable of the sower. And... In that parable, it teaches us that God needs good soil to produce fruit. He needs good soil to get a good crop. And, you know, if you plant a seed on, on mountainous, in the rocks, what's going to happen? It's going to come up, the sun will burn it, and it'll choke out. He wants us to be that good soil. You know, he uses relationships and he uses people to accomplish his will, to accomplish what he wants done. So he wants us to be good soil. He wants us to be fertile soil. He wants it to plant those seeds within us of talent. He wants to plant those seeds of, of ministry. He wants to plant those seeds of relationship and love in us. And he wants them to grow. He doesn't want them to be choked out. He wants to plant those seeds of obedience within us. That we will be obedient. You know, he tells us many times obedience is better than sacrifice. Because he can use obedience to reach other people. And sacrifice he can't. I love you all. Be obedient. Be good soil. Have a great day.